today I'll be replacing the rear brake pedal on my KDM 350 EXCF. I'll be using an Allen key, 10mm socket, 8mm socket, 10mm spanner and a spring puller if you have one. I'll be replacing it with the SPP aftermarket rear brake pedal. So the rear stock brake pedal has copped a knock and is actually pushed in So first I'll be loosening off the free play adjuster, taking that off, and then I'll be taking off the, the pivot bolt and then the spring to remove the back brake pedal. Now that the brake pedal is loose, just got to remove the spring and pull it out. Now it's time to remove the adjuster and put it on the new one. Now it's time to assemble it in the reverse order. If you're having trouble getting the brake spring back on, don't get wound up about it, take your time, it's just a matter of getting the right angle. Now adjust the height of your brake lever so it's level with your foot peg. Torque the lock nut on the height adjustment bolt. Now it's time to put the recommended free play in. As you can tell, that's way too much.
tighten the lock nut on the free play adjuster and you're done with the adjustments. When attaching the safety wire, it needs to be bolted to a spot slightly in front of the brake pedal and leave enough slack in the wire so the brake pedal can go all the way down. Now the wire is the correct length, crimp the wire with plies and cut off any excess. Like how-tos? Well stick around and subscribe because there's plenty more on the way.